Hi, welcome to Ball Headed Ho, a series where I review wigs so you can upstage these hoes. Yeah. Today's wig is RCP 189 Jada from the Red Carpet Premium in the color XF1B613 and also in the color XF1BBUG. Okay. This is a very beautiful wig, so let's get started. Because uh, I'm really excited to show you what this wig looks like, so let's get started. Alright, this is the wig Jada in the color XF1B613, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get right to the basics. This wig has no combs, and it comes with adjustable straps. I wish it did come with combs, you know, uh, I, they're not necessary for me because I don't have hair, it's not necessary for me, but it would be nice in, you know, considering the price of this wig. I got this particular wig, in, the, in this particular color, at Hair Stop and Shop, and the other color I got from wigtypes.com. So, this um, cost me $30 in all, because I only ordered one wig, and the, ba and the base shipping price was $5. I got it from... I got it for 30, 30 something dollars, like thirty-one dollars. So it ran, it ran, it runs for uh, twenty-five or to twenty-four dollars at um, HairStopAndShop.com. This wig comes with adjustable straps. The straps work very well. The straps make the wig super secure and it will fit any hair, any head size. I guarantee you that if you buy this wig, it will fit your head because it has a range of sizes. And if you haven't noticed, it is a bob cut wig. Yes, it's a bob cut wig. It's very short in the back, which I'll show you later. But it's one of those bob cut wigs with the with the long sides. I will show you that later. Don't worry, you you can see the whole wig. It's synthetic hair, and it does not say that it can be heated for some reason. I'm not really sure why it doesn't say don't heat or heat but it also tells you to air dry and not to use a hair dryer so do please do not heat if you wash the wig please air dry do not heat the density is very nice it um has a really really nice density it's, it's um it's, it has like a a little more than average density like you get a lot more hair than you expect expect to get now the blonde part is extremely dry for this color because it's such a bleach blonde I, I know it's synthetic but it just seemed like a trend here with bleach blonde hair that's always extremely dry but the black part for this color is very silky this is the left side of the wig as you can see it's um very long has like a very long uh side it's one of the medium length wigs so there's no need for sideburns and you actually get a lot of hair, a decent amount of hair on this side it's um in fact this side has more hair than the right side of the wig um I'm not sure if they're all like that or I did, did I just get a, a sort of weird kind of lopsided looking one because this this side clearly has more hair than the other side um you might not be able to tell the difference on camera but in real life you can tell the difference and this is the right side of the wig as you can see, it has the same color scheme as the as the left side of the wig does. It's um blonde up top and black under the bottom, which this side has a little less hair than the right side, which is which is strange. Like I mentioned before, it's a bit strange. Now I'll show you the back. Okay, so this is the back of the wig. It doesn't really look good on camera. Trust me, um the, this 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 cut here is a lot better in real life if you put it on your head but on this mannequin this cut doesn't look so right um yeah and you don't see like a, a big gap there your head will fill the fill in the space for the um for the hair you, you won't see that um it, it look like it's like push push down like that you see it look like that but i have a kind of a f funny sort of warped wig they they seem like sort of a warped kind of funny looking one, and which which, which I bought. I I don't get stuff for free, you know. I, I I pay for this stuff, um, but I say it's still worth the money. It's it's the back doesn't look that bad. It, it, it's kind of cute, um, but trust me, it look way better on your head, and you'll probably get a a better looking wig. 
no two wigs are alike. And just if you were curious, that's what it looks like with the obtuse bang. Now that we've seen this color, let us see the color XF1B BUG. I bet the BUG stands for burgundy, but then again, there's no R, so whatever, never mind. Okay, let's see what the other color looks like. Okay, so this is RCP189 Jada in the color XF1BBUG. Seriously, I've said this color like a thousand times. But yeah, it's a nice burgundy with um, black underneath. And this octuse bang is kind of cute, but it's meant to be worn as a blunt bang. But you know, you can always turn blunt bangs into obtuse bangs. So yeah, this is meant to be a blunt bang instead of an obtuse bang. Let me, let me, let me see if I can straighten it up. Okay, it's the blunt bang. And the other one was the obtuse bang. I like the obtuse bang the best. Let me know in the comment section below which one you like the best. Do you like the obtuse bang or do you like the blunt bang for this wig? This is the left side of the wig. One thing in, um, when considering which color to buy, you might want to note that this color is much more softer and, and shinier and less dry than the, well, it's not dry at all, compared to the blonde color I showed you earlier. It is, it is, a, it is a much better texture. It's, it is a much softer, silkier, smoother texture. The other one wasn't like dry like a yakky texture, which I, I, I kind of like prefer in wigs. It was dry like a bleach blonde, like, er, I'm bleach, I'm gonna just take all the life out of you because I'm bleach, rah. That's what that was, that's what that color was, that's what that feel to the texture of that hair was. It was called abuse. <clears throat> this is the right side of the wig. It's extremely beautiful and shiny compared to the other wig. Like, I, I really think that, honestly, you know, the dry one is my favorite, but... This, this is, this is definitely, um, worth buying, you know, for, for, for like a feel and a texture and a, and a more realistic appearance. Like, it looks like you just got, came out the salon with, um, freshly dyed hair or something like that. It looks like, it looks like actual hair. I like the other one, but it doesn't feel or really look like actual hair. But this, this actually feels and looks like actual hair. And even though it's synthetic. And be warned, you cannot heat it. You cannot heat it and you cannot dry it. You can only wash and air dry this. Air dry and towel dry only. And they say with the towel drying, you should be very careful when you dry with the towel. Okay, so let's look at the back of the wig. All right, this is the back of the wig. And one thing I wanna note here about the back of the wig is that unlike the other color, the back is cut extremely well. The other color was just all kind of wirely, wiry, and like the, and this section was longer than the, the section on the right. And I was just kind of like, oh, I'm not too, you know, fond of that. But it looks better on, on um, your head, that, that other color. But this color, it looks very well on the mannequin. So don't shy away from buying this wig just because you saw me get the other, just, just because you saw the, um, the other wig. And the other wig was kind of, eh, like defective a little bit. Don't let, don't let this, don't let this stop you from buying it. It's, it's totally, it's totally a beautiful wig. All right, guys, I showed you what this wig has to offer. Now it's time for me to go. See you later. Power to the bald head whole nation. Woo!